What's up guys, it's X2Robby2X here, and I am back with uh, Minecraft Modding Made Easy. It's where I show you uh, the basics of modding in Minecraft. So uh, last time we made our custom block called Blockium. Here it is. And on this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to make an item and how to use our custom block in a crafting, like in a... Like and to craft that block into our new item. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. But before I do that, um, I'm sorry whoever watched my MCP tutorial and watched me do all that confusing stuff to set up your MCP. Um, it is true though if you just switch your uh, switch workspace into right into that little eclipse. If you switch it to this folder right here in your MCP. It'll it'll just automatically give you these the client and server, and you can just pop this open and here's your source. I mean, you didn't need to do all that licking source and whatnot, but yeah, at least now you know how to do that. If uh, if this doesn't work, so let's get to our uh, item modding. Now uh, I've had this item in mind. Actually, I wanted to make a, some kind of a crossbow, but we're not actually gonna make it shoot anything yet. Oops, I did not want to click that. So first of all, let's make our um, let's make a custom class. A uh, new class, and uh, let's name it uh, mod underscore uh, blockium crossbow. That works. It's kind of a long class name, but whatever. Okay, now like all mod underscore um, mod loader classes, you always want to extend base mod. And uh, there's two abstract classes, I mean two abstract methods. And you'll always want public string get version. Now it doesn't matter what you put in here. I just return um, the version of Minecraft right now. Oops. So there it is. And you'll also want a um, load mm, method but it, that can be empty it doesn't need anything in the body so let's just move this down a bit now we're gonna want to make our item so let's declare it and initialize it public static final item as a class item and then let's name it uh, blocky um, expo crossbow is just too long to type out Yes, I'm lazy. Then it'll be new. And um for now let's just do item item blockium expo. And we haven't made that class yet, but we'll get to it. And then it takes an int. So it needs an ID to give to that um item. Um let's go back to our little ID chart. And looks like items passed. 382 are free to use. Let's just go up to like 500. Yeah, let's go 500. So it has the ID of 500, and you always want to say your item name, even though it doesn't do anything. Kind of, it's kind of required. So blah. This doesn't matter. Okay, there's there's my perfect uh, perfect name. Okay, so now that we have that. Um, class variable. You we're gonna we're gonna need a constructor because every class needs a constructor. So let's do. Uh, oops, item. What is it? Uh, no, it's not even item. Blockium crossbow. And uh, we're gonna need to uh, put some stuff in this constructor here. So let's just see. Uh, let's do blockium expo. Whoops, expo. Did I spell that right? That icon index equals. This is for a custom texture. Now, um, you, for items, you're gonna want to you're gonna want a custom texture for sure because you know you don't want other items looking like some other item. It's just that's just confusing. So I name my uh, PNG. M Expo because I was before I wanted to name it uh, Mysterium Crossbow, but that already 
we already established that last tutorial that that was going to happen. So, um, unlike the block class, which is, uh, so unlike the block like P and G, which cr contains all the block pictures, uh, it's not terrain.png for items, it's actually GU under GUI, graphical user interface, and it goes items.png. So that's what you want to put, and then you want to put the name of your own custom texture. Okay, so now that we have, we have uh, replaced the texture of it, uh, we're going to need to add a name for that item. So let's do modloader.add name. Now, a lot of these uh, methods are the same from block, so even better. Blockium expo. We're going to want our object first. And then uh, let's give it a name Blockium crossbow. Okay. So now that we have that, uh, we're going to need. Wait, actually. Um. All right. Yeah, we already established blockium, so we can make this. Okay. Now we're gonna need a recipe to add to um, our little uh, crossbow. So let's do mod loader dot add recipe. Now anywhere like anything from here is the same thing that you can find in crafting manager class. So let's go crafting manager and you see all these recipes here for every single item in the game I think I don't know so let's just go ahead and uh, let's steal this recipe but you want to cut it off like where you see add recipe here well you can actually copy this whole thing but we're going to need to replace that A with a capital A in our class so let's let's paste over that and make that A capital and that should work for my loader now, uh, new item stack, block.tnt1. What this means is, it'll give you a new item. It'll like this is what what the um, what the recipe makes. So for ours, for our blockium, we'd want to go to mod underscore blockium dot blockium because that was the object we made inside of that class. Okay, so it's going to give us. Um, wait, not, that's actually not what you wanted. Why did I just do that? Uh, since we're inside of this class already, we want to make a blockium crossbow. That's what we want. We don't want a block. And we only want one of those because uh, soon I'm going to show you how to make the stack only one. Now it creates a new object. And here is the actual recipe itself. Now this is the top row. This is the middle row. And this is the bottom row. Now you can do this like this. But let's say you only wanted a recipe made of one single like type of block and you wanted to make it so it's two blocks right next to each other like this but it doesn't matter where on the crafting table so we're just going to want to delete this and here you see character to value of this x this means for every x replace it like every x is represented for this item. So uh, instead of gunpowder, let's do. Now we can do our little mod underscore blockium dot blockium. And what this means is pretty much this recipe is two blockium blocks right next to each other. And now it doesn't matter where in our crafting table it's going to be, we just need two blockium blocks right next to each other. And uh, since we are only using one type of uh, one type of material, we can delete this. Make sure to delete that comma also. And here's the ending brackets and uh, parentheses. So we're good. We have the recipe for a blockium crossbow is two blockium blocks right next to each other. All right, so we're good. Now that we have this mod underscore um, class pretty much finished, we're going to need to look into the item class.